latest from Manchester City is that uh, Roberto Mancini said yesterday that uh, City are now out of the Robin Van Persie race. Uh, he, he indicated that the, the Blues aren't going to sign Van Persie, which seems to leave the field clear for United or even for Van Persie to remain at Arsenal. I wouldn't be entirely taken in by that. I think City have still got an interest. I think that, you know they'll still be pitching and still trying to trying to get Van Persie because he is the number one target for Mancini. Um, and the way transfer market works these days, you know, you, you've got to take things, um, you, you can't take them at face value because uh, managers will say things, agents say things, and it's a bit of a tangled web. So I wouldn't be hugely surprised if City aren't still pitching strongly for Van Persie uh, and if they didn't get him in the end. But United do appear to be the favourites. Uh, I think the one thing that has emerged is that. Um, it's been said from day one that City need to sell, they need to get rid of Adebayor, Santa Cruz and possibly one of the four frontline strikers uh, before they, they landed somebody like Van Persie. Uh, I'm not sure that's the case anymore. I think now, now the transfer windows are heading for a close. If they got the chance to bring somebody in, it was a target that Mancini wanted. I think they would take him and then try and get rid of um, you know, the deadwood like Adebayor and Santa Cruz and then possibly try and sell uh, an injecto to make room for, for the incoming player. Uh, so the, the stuff about, I think it's a bit, of a, a bit misleading to say that City need to sell before they bring somebody in. I don't think that would be the case anymore.